All righty. So with season passes for the 2020 season going on sale tomorrow at Canada's Wonderland or today, if you're watching this today. So if August 14th is the day you're watching this, August 14th is the day that season passes go on sale at Canada's Wonderland. And we all know that that's the time of year that Canada's Wonderland should be making its announcement on what's coming for 2020. Now, we've been hearing lots of things about what it could potentially be, and I think I'm finally ready, yes, the day before, to present what I think could be going on. So we all know Canada's Wonderland is the flat ride capital of the world, and it looks like it may get even better for the 2020 season. So if what I'm hearing is correct, we could be seeing a similar year to the year before Yukon Striker. So we could be seeing an adult flat ride, a kid-friendly flat ride, um, and instead of a waterside complex, we could be looking at a indoor restaurant. And I'm going to go over why. So Wonderland is one of those interesting parks where we already have a ton of flat rides. And figuring out what next flat ride would fit perfectly at Canada's Wonderland is extremely difficult. The two that you're seeing on the screen right now is all that I could see fitting in. I mean, we could get an Endeavor. Um, but I just don't see that at the current moment. I think that the two on the screen are probably the last two models um, of flat rides that Canada's Wonderland could really use. A lot of people look at, you know, the um, the swinging, scream and swing on the screen and go, oh, that, that looks boring. But I'm here to tell you, it's actually my favorite flat ride. They have the forces that it has when it's pushing you um, from one side to the other is absolutely amazing. And I would love to get one at Canada's Wonderland. And then the Air Race looks like a super cool ride as well. And I could totally see that fitting in at Canada's Wonderland. And both rides can be themed really well and fit into Frontier Canada. We know that Frontier Canada is probably in a multi-year expansion phase, and I wouldn't be surprised to see that expansion phase move into 2020 and then 2021 afterwards, and it may be done after 2021. Um, this is a uh, almost like a kid-friendly sky roller uh, version of the Gert Slower model. And this is what I think could be going in at Canada's Wonderland for the kids. Um, Wonderland is one of those parks that whenever they add a adult flat ride, they typically add like a kids flat ride as well. We saw that um, with flying canoes. We saw that um, with flying eagles. Uh, so definitely interesting to see what kind of kid flat ride they add. But I could totally see them adding something like this at the park. Um, now, what gets interesting is what is going to happen outside of the two flat rides. We know that Canada's Wonderland is an expansion phase, and we have a hotel opening in most likely 2020 late or early 2021. Um, so we're going to need attractions to boost that. So um, one of the things that Wonderland does really lack, unfortunately, is food quality and indoor sitting down food facilities. And like our sister parks, I honestly think we could be looking at something like Harmony Hall, um, and I think that's exactly what we'll get is a massive indoor eating place. It's basically like a giant cafeteria with multiple foods from different areas. It's very similar to Backlot Cafe, but much, much, much larger. Um, I think that's about 25,000 square feet. I could be wrong, um, but it's super large. It's uh, people. There's like performances in there in the summer so you can eat and watch a show. Um, and it's air conditioned. And that is what Canada's Wonderland lacks. And that is something I could totally see Canada's Wonderland adding for the 2020 season. So again, I am looking at um, two flat rides, one for kids, one for adults, and um, kind of like a Harmony Hall indoor eating place or a renovation of Backlot Cafe. That would be my guess for 2020. Um, definitely want to hear from you guys down below. What do you think could be coming in the 2020 season for Canada's Wonderland? Um, and what were you kind of hoping or expecting for? If you were hoping for a coaster, it's not going to happen. Not back-to-back -back coaster years. I definitely think 2021 is going to be Canada's Wonderland's year again. Again, we are one of those parks that had our coasters pushed back um, due to Val Raven needing to be installed at Cedar Point for their hotel renovation. Um, so we got pushed back a lot. Rides were already purchased. And eventually, they're just going to need to start putting in those rides that they've purchased um, in advance. So it's super exciting uh, for Canada's Wonderland's future. And I definitely think 2020 is going to be pretty awesome. I think a lot of people were expecting next to nothing. And that still could happen. Again, what I'm presenting on the screen is not confirmed. And it's not um, something that I'm presenting as this is what's going to happen. Just what I'm hearing from the grapevine um, we could be expecting a flat ride or two with a restaurant um, or restaurant renovation. Um, I am saying outside of that, though, I have seen work um, and things being uh, delivered inside Splashworks near the pump house for the wave pool. So 
Um, I'm not going to put a Splashworks renovation or even just one slide complex out of the picture, but if there's a water slide complex coming, then we're going to be not getting one of the flat rides, um, if that's the case. Hope you enjoyed this video, though, on Canada's Wonderland 2020. Definitely comment down below what you think. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you.